Staying with August 9th, the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, that is IEBC, says it will lay down mechanisms to expeditiously address complaints that could arise at any point during next week's polls. Speaking during the Commission's daily briefing, Commissioners Justice Nyangaya and Irene Masit challenged persons who might be aggrieved by any electoral processes or poll outcomes to pursue the laid down dispute resolution mechanisms to enhance credibility of the elections. The two commissioners further explained that the polls body will have all electoral materials distributed to the respective electoral units by Sunday. Some of the court cases came a bit too late in the day. And so now some ballot papers have not arrived and they will arrive tomorrow. And that now makes us uh, a bit jittery that when they arrive tomorrow, we have to fast track those and take them uh, uh, to their various stations. And, uh, and I think by uh, Sunday latest, they will be there because now fast tracking them will now mean we, we, we take uh, fixed wing aeroplanes or helicopters. The materials which have gone to the ground are more than 90 percent. In fact, it is all the non-strategic have been delivered. It's only strategic, like now, pilot, the way you had. There are some we are waiting. But all of them, most of them have arrived, including the presidential, which you say they are, they are all now in the country. So we'll be able to brief maybe Saturday or Sunday when everything is on the ground. A section of religious leaders have raised key concerns ahead of the Tuesday general election. The clergy, under the umbrella of National Peace and Mediation, chaired by head of Anglican Church, Archbishop Jackson Sapit, say they are alarmed over possible triggers of electoral violence being spearheaded by state and non-state actors. The team, at the same time, said toxic language being used in political rallies could spark violence in some parts of the country. The group father said it is concerned about the, 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 the gangs and militia a few days to the elections. We are indeed concerned about the toxic language and incitement we are witnessing in the political rallies and which have led to incidents of violence. <clears throat> the re-emergence of gangs and militia groups that are being used by some political actors to spur violence and disruptions in their rival political events. The exploitation of the poverty and economical vulnerabilities, especially among the youth in both urban and rural areas that make them susceptible to political mobilization for violence. The persistence of hate speech, fake news, and this information, disinformation in both on and offline spaces, especially targeting the women candidates as part of the violence against women in elections. For eminent people, I can say confidently that we are able to reach everybody that we need to reach, including the, 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 the leading candidates, so that uh, if um, they lose and they are causing a lot of problems or they we, we have the capacity to go and talk to them and say, look, guys, please, the country is bigger than all of us. If you are, if you, you are disputing the election, maybe this is the way to go. You can go through the court, and the court will arbitrate, and then, you know, we, because we have to also have confidence in our, in our system. Yes, we do have the capacity to reach out to the highest, uh, you know, people seeking the office, and we are ready and willing to mediate in cases like those. President Uhuru Kenyatta today continued his whirlwind tours of the country, commissioning some of his key legacy 